because bees work on a frequency of, you want to laugh, 28 kilohertz, which is the same frequency of the pyramid. And no. there's your limitation, right? If people are having mind. trouble with bees, because bees are unfortunately getting bombarded with frequencies and all of this toxic stuff and really trying to struggle to like to function. And that's why Walmart has a patent on robotic bees, right? Because they no know that, that ever happens. They got the solution because they always they sell they sold you the poison which was messing them up. Now they got the solution that they're going to sell you as well. When you start doing electroculture, you'll start notice you got bees. I got bees all the time. I can go outside and just the bees will come sit on my hand, and my plants are always being pollinated. Versus maybe somebody else's plants who is not taking care of their soil and it's not resonating that beautiful frequency. The bees aren't going to come around because they're starting to pick up. You know, we're destroying things and we're messing them up with these practices which have been programmed into our mind, we need to start fixing that so that they will start coming around and that their so that their GPS is no longer getting messed up too. Because bees work on a frequency of, you wanna laugh, twenty eight kilohertz, which is the same frequency of the pyramid. Mm. And there's your levitation, right? Because remember bees are levitating, they're not flying. So same frequency as above the pyramid is the same frequency as the bird. So the question is, oh, I'm sorry, of the, as, as the bee. So the question is, is how did they know that? Unless they were connected or in tune with the earth and with the frequency of everything to understand certain frequencies and certain sound effects and certain this emit mm -hmm. certain 